It's a beautiful.
It's a beautiful day on this Easter Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy anniversary to our technology leader and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Miller. Happy 20th wedding anniversary. We wish you many more. They will celebrate on the 4th. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you our youth announcer, Jaden Calder. It's a beautiful day in South Florida. Happy Sabbath church members and our online viewers. Welcome to our worship experience. I am Jaden Calder and you're watching MLSCA News. Please take a moment and place your cell phone on vibrate or silence to prevent it sounding during the service. Always remember, we are streaming live via YouTube. We ask that you refrain from walking between the podium and the center camera. Don't forget to invite your friends and family to join us in worship via YouTube. If you are local, you are invited to worship with us right here in the building. Please refrain from eating or drinking in the sanctuary. If there is a need to do either, we encourage you to do so in the wing of the church where there are appropriate accommodations. Thank you so much for cooperating. Our technology department is still in need of a few pieces of equipment to enhance our live streaming, sound, and visual. As you return your tithes and give a generous offering, we encourage you to make a special contribution to technology. Our goal is to raise 12,000 within the next 60 days. With your help, your technology department will be where it needs. Today is Youth Day, and we are anticipating the awesome worship experience we are about to have. The theme today is passing on the baton. Be sure to return at 5.30 p.m. for AYM. We as a church will gather tonight to watch a wonderful movie under the moonlight. There will be lots of food, fellowship, and a good old fun time. Thank you in advance to everyone who will contribute to this fun night. The Ma Olivet Education Department is sponsoring an informative presentation on human trafficking April 13th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Miss J. Portier is an anti-human trafficking coordinator for this state. She will be our guest speaker. Please plan to attend. Contact Jocelyn Baskerville at 954 806 7981. Women's Ministries meeting is scheduled for April 7th at 10 a.m. to noon. I will repeat at 10 a.m. to noon. All ladies of the church, please plan to attend. The spirit of celebration. This week, a few of our members will celebrate their birthdays. Ingrid K. and Brianna Williams, March 31st. Ravion St. Floor and Cecile Youngsum, April 1st. Stefan Jackson, April 2nd. Xavier Sally and Lois Taylor, April 3rd. Vivian Alberga, April 4th. Shireen Otto, April 5th. Happy birthday, members. We wish you many more. More prayer equals more power. Please do not cease to pray for Kaivon Miller. He is undergoing a series of extensive treatment. As per his father, he is enduring the treatment well thus far. He is not in any pain. However, he sleeps quite a bit. Please continue to pray for Sister Cockett as she recovers from major surgery. Church family and friends, let's continue to pray for each other. It matters. We got you in prayer, Kaivon. That's it for us today. Be sure to have an enjoyable Sabbath and may God bless you. Testing. Good morning. Happy Sabbath, everyone. God is good. Oh, man, I don't know if he's good because I know he's good. Let me say that again. Is he good to you? God is good. All the time. God is good and God is great all the time God is even better when the praises go up all right so I want my blessing today so you better praise him when the blessings go up the praises come down we want the Holy Spirit to be in this place we want to change some lives we want to inspire if you are depressed, come on, you are in the right place. If you're fearful, you are in the right place. If you have an illness, you are in the right place because God is in this place, all right? Please stand as we sing. I just want to praise you forever and ever, amen? Very easy song. Sing. I just want to praise you Yeah, forever. And ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, yeah, for all, for all, all of the things you did today, yesterday, for me, 
tomorrow, last week. Blessing. Blessings and glory. Come on, fall on me. And honor. All belong to you. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. For blessing me. Now I want to take it up high. I want to go to him. Come on, take it up. I just want to praise you forever. to worship this morning uh, we're going to have sister Chantel Friday is going to be in place we thank you God for her as we do our call to worship are you ready for the call are you ready for the call all right we are going to invite God into this uh, into our midst happy Sabbath church Sabbath Happy Sabbath, church. Happy Sabbath. How's everyone doing today? Amen. Y'all sound a little sleepy. How's everyone doing today? Amen. That's what I like to hear. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing to you among the nations. For your mercy reaches unto the heavens, and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all on earth. The church is now called to worship. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Singing.
Good morning, church. Happy Sabbath. Good morning. We are so glad to be in the house of the Lord for this. All right, we are so glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. So, we will be doing the affirmation of our faith and found in John 3, 16, followed by the fourth commandment, uh, Exodus 20, verse 8 through 11. Everyone, please stand. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And the fourth, and our fourth commandment, the Sabbath day to keep it holy, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in the midst, and blessed the Sabbath day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for uh, our young people, and we thank you for the older generation for passing down that legacy of worshiping God unto us. We pray that our service today may reach out and touch someone. And we pray for our speaker, Elder Michael Wilson, as he brings your word to everyone. In your name I pray, amen. You may be seated. Again, let me say good morning and happy Sabbath, Mount Olivet. It is a good thing to be in the house of God, isn't it? Yes, it sure is. When we think about the happenings of the week, uh, we want to just praise God to be in the sanctuary among believers. Uh, we want to just welcome each and every one of you this morning uh, because God is good. God is. God is good. And his name is to be glorified. Uh, so we just want to thank God that you're here with us. And we just want to especially welcome our visiting friends. Those of you who are visiting with us today, could you stand? Could you stand right where you are? Praise the Lord for you. Praise the Lord. Wherever you're coming from. Wherever you're coming from, we want to just let you know that we are grateful to have you in our midst today. And you are going to receive a blessing because God did not send you here just to come to warm the benches. And our prayers are, before you leave this place, the Spirit of God will speak to you and all of our members as well. You may be seated. Thank you so much. God bless you. We, we just want to um, also uh, our pastor let you know that our pastor is not here today. Um, and so he has sent his blessings uh, to us and to you, the congregation, this morning. Uh, he just want to let the congregation know that you are special when it comes to God. God has made you so, and he just want to send you uh, his blessings today. And he asked me also to just pass on the words to our young people and the leaders of our young people today, uh, because were it not for our leaders, Sister Carrie Ann, Sister Archer, uh, Sister Alberry, Brother Lamar, and all of you, our young people would not be able to function the way that they function. Those of you who were here this morning in our congregation for Sabbath school, let me see you raise your hand. 
If you were here this morning for Sabbath school, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Did not our young people do a good job? They sure did. And we just want to thank God for our young people. A Johnny. And uh, uh, somebody thought that was his wife. <laughs> That's mom and his sister back there. And praise the Lord for uh, Dr. Preddy, uh, who has been an instrument behind uh, his children. We just want to thank God for his blessings today. And as we worship God, we want to remember that it is he who on that great day, first morning, said, let there be light. And there was light. Uh, before we go on any further, I'm going to ask uh, Sister Carrie Ann, I think she have a quick announcement that she need to bring to you. Uh, so Sister Carrie Ann, our AY uh, director. Thank you so much, Elder Sterling. Uh, just a quick thing, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for supporting, supporting, supporting our youth. This afternoon, well, first of all, our theme. Our theme is legacy. And as you can see, um, I'm sure you were young and now you're old. And now it's time to support our young so that they can be old and it goes on and on and on, right? This afternoon, we're gonna support our, our, our family life and, um, and AY. We'll be doing a family movie night. Uh, especially uh, our AY, we want you to come back at six o'clock. What did I say? To support our young people. And then in the af after that, we will have our movie night. We want you to make sure you have your chairs. Um, it's gonna be in the parking lot. We'll have a big screen and we're gonna have a good time. And guess what? You don't have to worry about food because the food will be provided for free. Amen. Hallelujah to somebody that didn't have it, but I can come anyway. I can be dropped off and I can fill my belly, have a good time with you guys, and then I can go home. Well, it, actually, that's going to happen tonight. And then um, our AY is about periality. Those who are interested in seeing how our young people were doing, and they have a testimony to give you. So six o'clock, please come back. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Amen. Thank you, Sister Karian. Uh, we just want to also bring to your attention uh, that we have um, a special friend here today um, in the person of Brother Taft. Brother Taft, could you stand? We want to thank God for Brother Taft because God has led Brother Taft through some hills and some valleys. And God has seen him now striving. Thank God for the prayers of all of you, not only uh, those of us here, but throughout the spectrum of the Adventism, uh, the Adventist Church in here in Broward County, who knows about Brother Taft. Uh, we want to thank you for being here today, uh, Brother Taft. God bless you. Um, what is a church without young people? Can you imagine a church without young people? <laughs> a church where people walk like this? And, and, and don't get me wrong, because we need the people that walk like this. But they're not going to be here to walk like this all the time. So God wants young people to stand up and take on the baton and run with the message on into tomorrow. Are you hearing me? If we don't have young people in our congregation, we are looking to bury the church. So young people are very essential when it comes to the work of God. And I want to just praise God for our young people this morning because they, 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 they do some things sometimes make us wonder 
But let me tell you, God is not finished with them yet. And so we just have to work with our young people. And one day, by and by, when it's all over, God is going to call our young people on into his kingdom because he loves every single one of us. We also want to, um, I have a note from uh, community service. Uh, Sister Murray just passed this on this morning to, to me. Um, there are some potatoes that they have here in the parking lot. We want, they want for you to feel free to serve yourselves. Um, they might, you have bags, Sister Murray? They are already bagged up and ready to go. I think Sister Murray will be over there today. Uh, we just want for you to go by and, and collect uh, some of the items that they have left there today. We don't want to see it go to waste. May God bless us today um, because we have one of our uh, home boys, if I may say, that's going to speak to us today um, in the person of Elder Michael Wilson. We want to thank God for him. He has brought his family with him. Uh, Sister Wilson, um, could you stand so the congregation can recognize you? Um, praise the Lord for you. And I think your dad and mom is here today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to have you. Good to have you. May God can continue to bless us as we worship him in spirit and in truth. Remember our pastor and his family in your prayers. God bless.
Good morning once again. So what you just saw was just a highlight of what goes on in Sabo School right here in the wing. And since we're talking about legacy, legacy has to start somewhere. So why not Sabo School? So bring the kids, those at home, those here, bring the kids out. We have great programs teaching them about God. So this is all about God and where your legacy begins. Thank you. Happy Sabbath, church. It's time for tithes and offering. Will the deacons please step up? Oh, Lord, Heavenly Father, we come to you again. It's time for, for your people to gather to come and give back to you. I pray that you'll bless this tithes and offering and it will bring many great things, and you'll use it in the way that you would want us to use it. I pray all these in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you all know that there are three ways to give. You can give online at www.mountolivetsdafl.org, or you could give in mail at P.O. Box 5225, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33310. Or finally, you could give in person at 649 Northwest 15th Way, Fort Lauderdale, 33311. Thank you, everyone. Oh, oh, there's also a Zell. <laughs> you can give it. I, Give to mosd at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a good time. All right. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. All right. Clap your hands.
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Amen. Amen. We're going to have Sister Ivy do our scripture reading for today. Please, everyone, please stand. Testing. Testing, testing. It's on. Our scripture reading is taken from 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 6 through 15. Then Elijah. It's on, just keep on. Just turn it off. Don't turn it off. Just bear with us a second. Praise the Lord. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here. The Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he... Just said to him, Stay here, the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he, and he replied, Surely as the Lord lives and, and you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. Fifty men from the company of the prophet went and stood at a distance facing the place where Elijah and Elisha stopped at the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak and rolled it and struck the water with it. The water divided right and to the left. The two of them crossed over dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me what I can do for you before I'm taken from you. Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit, Elijah replied. Mercy, mercy. You have asked a difficult thing. Elijah, Elijah said, yet if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours. Otherwise, it will not. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariot and horsemen of Israel. And Elisha saw him no more. Then they took his garment and tore it into two. Elisha then picked up Elijah's cloak that had fallen from him when he went back and stood on the bank of Jordan. He took the cloak that had fallen from Elijah and struck the water with it. Where is the Lord now? Where is the Lord of God? Elijah asked when he struck the water and divided divided it to the, to the right and the left, and he crossed over. The company of prophets from Jericho who were watching said the spirit of Elijah is resting on Elisha and they went to meet him and bowed down before him. Look, they said, we are your servants. Have 50 able men. Let them, let them go and look for your master. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps the spirit of the Lord has picked him up and set him down on some mountain or in some valley. Amen. There and in the reading of his word. Wonderful. It is time for prayer for those. We're going to sing a song very easy. Let the church bow down, all the earth bow down, universe bow down, and then we'll have Brother O'Connor lead us to our world. 
Father of the church. Let the church bow down, all the earth bow down, universe bow down before the church bow down let the church bow down on the earth bow down universe bow down before the king good morning church it's prayer time it's prayer time so i ask that we all reverently meet wherever we are as we come before the grace of Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for uh, this opportunity to petition to the throne of grace. Thank you for the young people, the ones behind me and the ones in front of me. We, I want you to cover us in your blessing. I want to pray for every single member of this church, every visitor here. We pray that you touch them, give them your blessing. I want to pray over uh, the youth of day in general. We pray everything goes smoothly. We pray that you uh, cover us from uh, danger, seen and unseen. I want to pray for all the bereaved families of the church, Lord. You know what they're going through. You know how grief and, and things are. We pray that everyone, all the trials and the tribulations turn into testimonies we pray that you say, I am sick, turns into I was sick. We pray that yes. uh, I was uh, unsheltered, yes. to, to I was unsheltered, I'm not, yes. no longer. We yes. pray that you break every stronghold, yes. break every chain that you have Jesus. around these, our people. In the we pray that enough is enough. We pray for our sick and shut-in members. Yes. We pray that you go by their bedside. We pray that you touch them. I want to pray especially, I want to bring toward the throne of grace the name Kaivon Miller, one of our young people. Yes. We pray that you heal him. He yes. turned this trial he's going through right now yes. into a testimony. Yep. I was sick. Amen. Not I am sick. Yes. Heal me, God. I yes. was in pain. Yes. I was hurt. Yes. My heart Thank was Jesus. broken. And so we pray that you turn all the present tense into yes. past tense. Yes. We leave that behind. We yes. break every chain. We pray that you come before us, yes. show up and show out. Yes. You yes. turn, you bring your presence here, the spirit of the Lord in this place. Of course, we pray for all of our families. We pray that we stick together. We want to pray for the, yes. the older generation as well. Amen. They set the boundaries. They set, they leave the legacy for yes. us. We know how, if good or bad, the legacy is already set in stone for us. You can change everything. You can change the writing on the wall. Everyone says, oh, that was it for me. Oh, I'm supposed to be dead or in jail. We know you can change that Thank in a God. moment, in a blink of an eye. Thank you, God. We pray for everyone, again, who is bereaved. We know they're all sleeping because one day, pray that you all call us up and you and you hear well done thou good and faithful servant please of course we pray for everything as well every department of our church we keep moving forward we pray for pastor parkinson and we also want to pray for our speaker coming up uh, elder michael wilson we pray that you touch his heart and give him the words to say in order to bless your people order his steps in your word in your name i pray amen let the church bow down let the church bow down on the earth bow down universe bow down before the king let the church bow down let the church bow down on the earth Bow down, on the earth, bow down, yes. 
praise and worship time. Oh, man. Listen, I know that this man loves praise and worship time, right? Uh, some of our young people, they getting ready for praise and worship time. And I know some of you love praise and worship time. So if it's your time and you want to give something to the Lord, a little hand clap, a little hands in the air, a little joy, please stand to your joy. feet as you sing with us. Amen. All right. And if not, well, I'm, I'm sure he'll get you ready. But I, I would joy. love for everyone to please stand. Let's worship God. If we were in the basketball courts and if we were at the ball, the ball game and my joy my, is coming come on now all right get ready get ready get ready get ready all right <laughs>
nobody can take it away. Hallelujah. Though the night may seem weary, joy is coming in the morning. I, I'm wondering for those, and this is for those, for those, for those who are at that night. I'm speaking to you. You cry. You're fearful. You're doubting. Those who are in a stronghold, we've already prayed for you. Those who are going through things, we already prayed for you. God has already prayed for you. So don't cry. Don't weep. He is definitely risen. Yes.
No, no, he's not asleep. He's not asleep. Jehovah. Jehovah. He's not dead. Come on, fellas. Join in. Oh, don't cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Yes. Your eyes. The ladies went to the disciples and said,
Testament, fitting for Easter weekend. I have the esteemed pleasure to introduce our speaker of the hour, and he is no stranger to my Olivet, the place. No other than Elder Michael Wilson. Elder Michael Wilson, he was born April 4th, 1977 to Richard and the late and beautiful great Lois Wilson. May her soul rest in peace. Growing up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Elder Wilson, as I said, is no stranger to Mount Olivet, this prestigious church. He matriculated through Mount Olivet Junior Academy, Miami Union Adventist Academy, and the Oakwood University. He holds a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Psychology with a minor in Theology. He is a teacher, a singer, and an ordained elder. He has worked in, on many levels throughout the church, as you, some of our younger hearts may have seen him as a youth usher, youth deacon, youth elder, a youth and young adult Sabbath school teacher, assistant AYS leader, uh, also a young adults ministry leader, family life ministry leader, minister of music, a chorister, and now an elder. In 2009, Elder Wilson and his group recorded a live CD named Words of Wisdom at Ebenezer Seventh-day Adventist Church in Dania Beach, Florida. So when I say he's a singer, he's a singer. Yes, he is married to the beautiful Candace, former Candace Holmes, now Candace Wilson. They are high school sweethearts. They met at Miami Union Academy. And they both attend Northside SDA Church. He is happily married for 18 years, amen? Amen. And at Northside SDA Church, he serves alongside his wife as the assistant leader, and she is the leader of the fellowship committee uh, team. Elder Wilson, he asks for your prayers and your undivided attention as he gives his message today, passing on the baton. Open your hearts, your minds, and spirits to his words. Hear ye him. morning happy Sabbath family Just... all right try that again good morning happy Sabbath family I am so happy to be here this morning I've enjoyed the music I have enjoyed the praise it has been so good to be here this morning and to see the young people leading out. I remember when I just came in this morning, I saw the young and the old down here for Sabbath school and they were singing together and it just did my heart so good to see the young and the old coming together and praising and worshiping his holy name. I just want to just thank, first of all, Pastor Parkinson for allowing me to speak in his pulpit this morning. Also, I would like to thank the head elder, uh, Elder Sterling. I thank you in a very special way. You have been a mentor. You have been a friend. And you have taken this church without a pastor to keep this church together. And we should give him a round of applause. Amen. 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 Also, I would like to thank my sister, I call her my sister, Carrie Ann Williams. 
awesome AYS leader. She could be anywhere, but she is here. And she loves you all. And she loves the young people. And she prays for you all. And we are just, I'm so happy and grateful to be here today. Now, before I speak, I'm going to give you my scripture reading that was read this morning. Then I'm going to sing a song, and then we're going to get into the word this morning. Now, my sermon is Passing on the Baton. Three things Mount Olivet taught me. Let us turn in our Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 6 through 15. And I'll be reading it from the Clear Word Bible. 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 6 through 15. All right. By the time it was late in the afternoon, and Elijah said to Elisha, Lord wants me to go to the Jordan River, but I want you to stay here. For a third time, Elijah was testing Elisha's commitment. But Elisha answered, As surely as the Lord lives, I will not leave your side. So they walked together another five miles until they reached the Jordan River, not far from Mount Nebo. Fifty students went with them and stood at a distance as the two men approached the Jordan. Elisha took his mantle, rolled it up, and hit the water with it. The water divided, and the two of them walked on dry ground. After they crossed, Elijah knew that the Lord would take him. So he said to Elisha, What would you like me to do for you before I leave? Elisha answered, I pray that I receive a double portion of the spirit that the Lord has given you. Elisha said, you've asked the hard thing. I don't have the power to decide that. If the Lord lets you see him take me away, he'll give you what you asked for. But if you don't see me go up, well, he answered no. And they were walking and talking together. And suddenly a chariot of fire pulled by fiery horses came racing toward them and separated the two men. Then a twisting wind swept Elijah into the chariot and was whisked away toward heaven. Elisha cried out, Father Elijah! I see the chariots of Israel and the horsemen. Then the chariot and the horses disappeared. In grief, Elijah tore his outer robe in half. Then he picked up the mantle that had fallen from Elijah's shoulders and headed back to the Jordan River. He pulled up, he rolled up the mantle and said, where is the power of God of Elijah? Then he hit the water with it. And the river parted, as did for Elijah. And Elisha walked across on dry ground. The students from Jericho saw it and said to each other, Look, the power of the spirit that was on Elijah is now on Elisha. Then ran to meet him and bowed in respect as they had done for Elijah. The song is entitled, Say a Prayer. Lord, I come to you, I ask you to grant my request. 
the prayer I pray today is different than the rest. The enemy is threatened by the gift you placed in me. Hear my earnest prayer, cover me. Jesus, say a prayer for me. You know what I need. Go before the Father and intercede for me. The enemy is trying to save me as we eat. But like you did for Peter, say a prayer for me. For those you have called, you fully equipped to fight the winds and the waves, to captain the ship. So I don't mind the storms. I am willing to sail, Lord, cover me that my faith won't fail. Jesus, say a prayer for me. You know what I need. Go before the Father and intercede for me. The enemy is trying to save me as we, but like you did for Peter, say a prayer for me. Oh, 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 Spirit, pray for me. Tabernacle with us today. Yeah. Shower down your power. The Spirit, pray for me. We need the power of the Holy Spirit in this very hour. Pray for me Like you did for Peter Say a prayer for me Lord, I'm calling to you Like you did for Peter Say a prayer for me That my faith won't fail like you did for Peter, say a prayer.
for me. Say a prayer for me. Give the Lord some praise. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your Sabbath day. We thank you, Lord, for this youth day. Now, Lord, bless your people. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. This is my prayer. This is my plea in the worthy name of Jesus. Amen. Passing the baton. Three things that I've learned here at Mount Olivet. First thing, what is legacy? A believer's legacy is their testimony that has been passed down to the next generation and remembered long after the person had died. Legacy involves living intentionally and aiming to build into the next generations for their success. The background behind this story comes from the book Page, uh, Prophets and Kings, chapter 17, entitled Call to Elisha. Now, Elijah was the prophet, and he was um, there by the brook, and it hadn't rained for three and a half years. And God told Elijah to go and find your successor. Now, moving on to Elisha. Elisha's dad, his father, was a wealthy farmer, and he did not bow to Baal. He believed in the true God, and he taught Elisha how to work on the farm and how to be diligent in doing little things. How many know it is wonderful when you can train up a child in the way that he should go, and when you train them, they won't depart from it? Elisha is out there with um, Elisha's father's servants. He's out there plowing the field, and he realized at that time um, that this is maybe insignificant, but he had a gentle spirit about him. He loved people, and God was using him in little things for him to be able to be ruler over many things. And I, I look at Elisha and Elisha was just out there plowing and doing the things and I remember the song that Willie Holmes used to sing just ordinary people God uses ordinary people he uses people just like you and me who are willing to do as he commands God uses people that will give their all no matter how small your all may seem to you because little becomes much when you place it in the master's hands. The first thing that Mount Olivet taught me, they taught me youth, you are already a part of Mount Olivet's legacy. They taught us that you are the church of now. You are the church of today. They taught us Pastor Cesar Robinson, who became the youth director of this conference. Elder Thomas Alberry, Attorney Jerome Gray, Brother Gillian, and Sister Earlene Grant. They taught us and they reminded the older people during AY and on Youth Day. Mount Olivet youth are not the youth of tomorrow, but they are the youth of today. They are not the church of tomorrow, but they are the church of today. And they trained us to work in this church. We had to plan our own AYs. We had to plan our own skits. We had to plan our own speeches. We had to do our own song services. We had to do the Pathfinder aim, motto, and pledge. Young people, our AYS leaders taught us memory verses. They taught us how to play sword in hand. They taught us how to know and understand what we believe. Our AYS leaders would have our backs in board meetings and in business meetings. They believed in that song, Just Ordinary People. Mm -mm -mm. Our AYS leaders believed in living intentionally and aiming to build into the next generation. They believed in the track. 
They believe. I'm going to have Lamar to come up right quick. Stand right, stand right there. Face that way. Pretend that you're running. No. <laughs> Do your arms like this. We didn't practice this. Do your arms like this. Yeah, just like that. There you go. All right. Now, I'm the older leader. And for this church to go on, I have to pass the baton to a younger leader. Amen? Now, in a relay race, you have four, you have four runners. And before you pass the baton to the runner, the runner in front has to already be running. So he has to have something in him already to know that when I say stick, he gets the stick and he keeps on going. As older leaders, we have to invest, we have to train our young people that when we pass the baton, we're not worried about it anymore. We know that he can finish the race. Now, as I come over to you, all right. Now, you can't look at me. You got to believe now. Here you go. Now you're running. Now I'm coming. When I say stick, pull your hand back. Stick. Now, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Now, I know. He's ready to take off. But look here. Being the older leader, I can't hold on to the stick. I got to give it up. I got to give it up. I got to know that I've trained him in the way he should go. And when I give it up, he's ready to go. Now I'm going to give it up. Start moving. Now, stop right there. Stop right there. Now, as an older leader, all I can do, as the people on the track would do, is root him on. Go ahead, Lamar. You got it, Lamar. It is yours. I don't hold on to it anymore. Amen. Amen. Young people, you are, the, you are our future. You, when we pass the baton to you, you have to know something. You have to know the Bible for yourself. You have to know the spirit of prophecy. You need to know the new gospel songs and the hymns. Reason why? Because you will have to take this church to the next level. The second thing, moving on, the second thing Mount Olivet taught me is to recognize that you do not have to compromise to be recognized. Many young people in this church, you don't have to change your beliefs or lower your standards for the world to be recognized by God. Young people, if you are a youth deacon, be the best youth deacon that you can be and God will reward you. If you are a youth elder, be the best youth elder that you can be and God will reward you. If you are into technology, be the best technology person that you can be and God will reward you. If you are a musician, be the best musician that you can be and God will reward you. Look around this church. You have so many gifted and talented people in this church that so many people in this church could be millionaires. All you have to do is go to them, ask them for their expertise, and the older generation, be willing to teach them, and then after you teach them, let them go and let them run this church and you will be blessed as a church. The third and final thing Mount Olivet has taught me, they taught me the word of God, and they taught me that if you ever leave this church, you can always come back home. I remember, coming to a close, I remember growing up in this church, 
and being in Sabbath school back there in the wing of the church. And our Sabbath school teachers, they had an easel. And they would have this flip chart. And they would have pictures of heaven and of Jesus and of the Garden of Eden. And right below it, they would have, they would have memory verses. And we had to learn those memory verses for 13th Sabbath. Now, around the ninth week... Our Sabbath school teachers, they would have us to review all of our Sabbath school (laughs) memory verses. And if we didn't recite them and memorize them after church, our Sabbath school teachers would go to our parents and tell our parents, hey, your son, your daughter has not memorized their memory verses. And for that whole week, our parents They would (laughs) make sure that we could recite those memory verses by heart. So when we came back to Sabbath school the next Sabbath, we knew every memory verse. So on 13th Sabbath, they would line us up back there into the wing of the church from cradle roll up to primary. We would walk through the mother's room and come out of that door and sit on the first three rows. And on the first three rows, Our Sabbath school teachers would call up Cradle Roll, and Cradle Roll would come up and say say their memory verses, and they would sit right back down. Then they would bring up kindergarten. Kindergarten would come up, say their memory verses, and sit right back down. Then uh, primary would come out, and they would say their memory verses, and they would sit down. Then they would bring all of us up to sing songs. How many remember the song? Read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. And what happens? And you? Uh oh. Grow, grow. And what happens? And you? And you do what? Grow, grow, grow. And then they say, read your Bibles, pray every day. And you? Now they had another verse. They said, neglect your Bibles, forget to pray. Forget to pray. Forget to pray. Neglect your Bibles. Forget to pray. And what happens? And you? Uh Uh-oh. And you do what? I don't know how low can I go. And how much? And you? Neglect your Bibles. Forget to pray. And you? Now, y'all got to help me up here now. Here we go. Read your Bibles. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bibles. Pray every day. And you do what? Come on now. And you do what? Come on. And you do what? Woo, yes. Grow. Read your Bibles, pray every day, and you do what? Now, I don't remember all of you all in my Sabbath school class, but you, but you all remember this. Like, amen. All right. Second thing, second song. How many remember those songs that you had to spell out the words? Uh-oh. Okay. I don't know if you remember this song. The song went like this. No, No, you can't get to heaven without salvation. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. No, you can't get to heaven without salvation. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Shout it out loud and clear. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Shout it out, far and near, S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Now, how many remember that song? Okay, not too many, okay. But my favorite song, as I get ready to take my seats, my favorite song was the four, the five-letter words, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. But they taught us a second verse. Uh Uh-oh, they taught us a second verse. And the second verse is just as important as the first verse. The second verse was the B-L-O-O-D. That's what Jesus shed for me. 
I stand alone on the word of God because of the B-L-O-O-D. They was teaching us in Sabbath school that no matter what you go through in this life, you need to know the Bible for yourself and you got to know that Jesus died for you. You got to know that Jesus is the only one that can save your soul. And I am so happy this morning that they taught it to us. They drilled it into us. They beat it into us. They made sure that we knew that God was on our side and that if we ever left this church, we can always come back. I just praise the Lord today. God has been a good God. And just to see the young people leading out and... Taking over this church is a beautiful and a wonderful thing. The praise team is supposed to do an appeal song, and I'll come back up to do my appeal.
for everyone to stand at this time. If anyone has heard God speaking to them today and would like to go down in the watery grave of baptism, just raise your hand right now. I see you. Amen. 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 This is your day. You have one already. Anyone else? Spirit has been high in here this morning. And we're just praying for our youth. And we're just praying for the older members that they will pass the baton and they will teach our young people the ways of the Lord and the ways of this church that they can pass the baton to the next generation and they can carry this message to the ends of the world. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for our youth. Lord, they have so many pressures in this life, Lord. And we just pray that you will be with them. Be with them in school, Lord, first of all. There are school shootings all over the world, Lord. And we just pray for them in their coming and in their going. As they come here to Mount Olivet, we pray, Lord, that they will learn of you here, Lord, and that they will be able to take this message to a dying world and to end, and to end, to bring this church, Lord. We just pray in a very special way that you would just be with the leadership of this church. We pray, Lord, that you would give them a double portion of your spirit, that one day, when you are seen coming in the clouds of glory, everyone that is here under the sound of my voice will be saved. This is my prayer. This is my plea in the worthy name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. He's not done with me yet. He's not done with me yet. There's so much more to the story. You're not done with me yet. You're not done with me yet. You're not done with me yet. There's so much more to the story. You're not done with me yet. Who am I to deny what the Lord can do? Sing, who am I? Who am I to deny what the Lord can do? Amen. Have you had a blessed time? at church today are you happy for our young young people all right listen they made me sing all week i was with them all week last week listen and it's a blessing trust me um here's another just a short appeal um leaders department leaders grab hold those who are advisors, those who have a story, grab, hold, leave your legacy with our young people. You were young and now you are old. If you have gray hair, you're old. If you, um, if you have pain in your hip, you are old. Leave your legacy with one person at least one young person share your story and listen pass that baton amen we have a good time in the lord today we are going to um dismiss you but before we do we do have last remarks from our i'm gonna say our junior well he's not a junior because look how look how strong and tall he is come on lamar come on up He's going to do our final um, remarks. And then, of course, uh, we want to invite you back for this afternoon. 
Hello, everyone. We had a good time today in the Lord, okay? Amen. Um, final remarks. I do want to thank every one of our platform participants. Amen. Um, I want to thank Elder Sterling, of course. I want to thank Elder Michael Wilson for coming out. And Amen. Giving us the word. All right. Amen. Uh, I want to remind you, we are having AYM later on this afternoon, where we will discuss pure reality, as well as a movie night in the parking lot um, with our Family Life Ministry. We pray that the, the Lord blesses and keeps you uh, until we meet again. Let me give a closing prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you've done today. We thank you for the older generation that passed down their legacy, the baton, onto us. We pray that you bless and keep us throughout your Sabbath, throughout this Easter weekend. We reminded, we're reminded that you died for us, but you have risen. The devil is defeated already. already. You have risen. So we, bless, we pray that you keep us in your holy name. Send your angels to protect us. Amen. I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me. Jesus. 